This video is brought to you by the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services Pollution Prevention Program. We help businesses reduce or eliminate waste at the source. Our Sustainable Breweries Program helps breweries reduce their environmental impact, protecting resources for future generations. We offer free, confidential technical assistance to New Hampshire breweries. Program staff are available to tour your facility and provide a report detailing ways to save money and reduce your carbon footprint. Whether it's utility tracking through our benchmarking program or finding incentives on equipment and lighting, we can help to make your brewery more sustainable. Let's take a look at some ways to reduce the amount of water used at breweries. Most brewers pride themselves on being sustainable, creating a sense of community, protecting the environment, making great tasting beer, and by doing all of these things, making a profit. Breweries can be more sustainable by implementing simple water conservation techniques that not only use natural resources more efficiently, but also make sense for the bottom line. One New Hampshire brewery participating in our benchmarking program was reviewing their water bill and noticed a huge spike. They checked their operation for major leaks, but did not find any. This brewery was located in a building that housed other businesses, and it was discovered that another tenant had a leaking toilet. All parties were astonished at the effect of one continuously running toilet had on the water use in the complex. A leaking toilet results in as much as 300 gallons of water lost in a day, and for a month, that's 9,000 gallons. It may not seem like much, but that water costs money and it's literally going down the drain. Most people don't realize that you pay for water twice, once when you use it, and then you pay to dispose of it. In short, a simple adjustment and this costly problem disappeared. Now let's talk about some ways to reduce water use at your brewery. A cost-effective way to conserve water is to clean up spills using a broom, squeegee, or a shovel instead of using a hose. If you need to use a hose, make sure it has a shut-off nozzle, or better yet, use a high-pressure, low-flow nozzle. Another way to manage water use is to create an employee leak patrol to check your operation for leaks once a week. Did you know that three faucets dripping one drip per minute results in more than 100 gallons of water wasted in a year? Reusing water wherever you can in your operation also saves water. For example, final rinse water can be stored in a tank and reused in the pre-rinse stage. Host an employee scavenger hunt to look for ways to reuse or conserve water at your facility. Last, track your use. If you don't measure it, you can't manage it. Measuring how much water you use or lose at various points in your operation is critical to conserving water and saving money. You've heard some simple yet effective ways to conserve water and keep more of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Please contact us for more ideas on how to make your brewery more sustainable. We would like to thank To Share Brewing in Manchester for their help creating this video by letting us follow them for the day. Also, a special shout out to Schilling Beer Company, Stoneface Brewing, Throwback Brewery, and Woodstock Inn Brewery for their photo contributions. This video was made possible in part by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. To learn more about the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services or the Pollution Prevention Program, go to www.des.nh.gov or email us at nhppp at des.nh.gov. Dot .gov